thousands of jobs in construction, transportation, and utilities need to be filled right here in Central Texas. So according to Workforce Solutions Capital Area, there's a workforce gap in the skilled trade industry. It's why some local leaders created platforms to get people in those jobs. Cakes and Sarah Alche shows us now a new one in Pflugerville trying to help fill that gap. We have automotive, uh, forestry, landscaping, janitorial, manufacturing. More than 100 different skilled trades positions at your fingertips. Starts telling you about the skills you need for that uh, specific trade. The Pflugerville Public Library partnered with the Pflugerville Community Development Corporation to create Blue Career. It gives you the opportunity to kind of dive into the professions, see what kind of trainings are necessary, see what, if there's apprenticeships available, um, or search for jobs. The online platform offers personalized career guidance. As you answer the questions, it uh, pulls all this together, then it'll give you some options within these industries that you might want to pursue. And access to training programs, certification courses, and job listings, accessible to anyone with a Pflugerville library card. This adds to the growing list of Central Texas workforce programs KXAN reported on this year. From a high school summer internship with the Austin Transit Partnership, we'll have like little sensors, to construction training through American Youth Works. Workforce Solutions Capital Area says all of these initiatives help fill the current workforce gap. A lot of different infrastructure jobs coming here to Austin, including Project Connect, the airport expansion, I-35 expansion, and more. Workforce Solutions says Central Texas will need about 10,000 more workers annually to deliver on those projects. But there's only about 6,000 people in skilled trades programs at the moment. So the delta that we need to reach that 10,000 goal annually, the 10,000 demand, is about 4,000 per year. Through this new platform, the Pflugerville Library hopes to chip away at that number. And this one kind of filled a gap that we felt like we weren't exactly uh, filling before. So so it kind of fits in that whole idea of just helping people in the community um, find rewarding careers and uh, better their lives. Sarah Alshech, KXAN News. Another workforce program coming is the Austin Infrastructure Academy. It's meant to help build a local pipeline of workers for major construction and transportation projects in the region. According to the city, it would be a one of a kind public private infrastructure network that integrates recruitment, a comprehensive training hub, childcare support and placement services to connect local people to career pathways in infrastructure development. Giving a little depth right now, currently the state of Texas has has an unemployment rate lower than the national rate at 4.1% in Texas, and the Austin Round Rock San Marcos Metro is even lower. Locally, the Labor Department counts more than 87,000 workers in mining, logging, or construction. Also, more than 74,000 in manufacturing. Trade, transportation, and utilities tallies more than 210,000. All three of those sectors have shown growth year over year.